Hello, this is Gary. So this is a demonstration of on how to convert a solar pathway light to a DMX RGB. If you have a Lightorama, LOR, Advance S3, or any DMX type software, you should be able to use these lights year-round in your yard or if you set them up like I have them set up here for temporarily. You can use them in your shows for Christmas, Halloween, whatever. Uh, anyway, so I'll show you how to put this together, take it apart, put it together. So you'll need a few items from the hardware store, a couple of RGB uh, items to get your light put together. So um, it, basically it, there's four things on the RGB side you'll need. You'll need a... Um, a power supply 12 volt DC uh, in my case I'm using a 45 watt power supply that's waterproof from holiday core and then I'm using also a dumb uh, LED RGB light node that's uh, square that's also from holiday core and then I'm using some RGB uh, uh, four wire, um, four stranded wire to make an extension from the the light node down to the bottom. That you just have to search for on the internet. Otherwise, everything else you can get at a hardware store or home store. So I'm starting out with a base with that's a uh, electrical cover for electrical outlet. It's four inches by four inches. And then I'm using a half inch uh, connector or a half inch P electrical PVC pipe. I'm using these um, and then I connect it to the, the base. And these little uh, um, conduit lock nuts what what I'm using to connect that plastic pipe to the to the base or that connector. And I stick a five inch plastic uh, half inch uh, electrical conduit into the top of it. So that becomes my base and what supports the the light itself. Uh, I really love these um, plastic pipe <coughs> cutters that you find in the plumbing department. It makes it real easy to cut the plastic pipe. You can also find them at Home Depot and at uh, Freight Harbor. The ones I have are from Freight Harbor. Once it's <clears throat> assembled, uh, I just hot glue the the plastic pipe to the to the fitting, and then uh, I place the the light fixture over the the plastic pipe, and I glue around the base of the plastic pipe to make it all stick together. I'm using hot glue there, also. So that's what it looks like after I get it done. Then. Moving on to the top, take the globe off by taking three Phillips head screws out. Once you get these three screws out, there's three more screws to take out. You have to basically spin this ring to line this, the screws up to, to one of the two holes that are bigger uh, in the base to um, disassemble the, the top unit. So. And when you do this, you have to like go a turn and a half on each screw until the um, whole thing falls apart. Then once you get it apart, I take the battery out and uh, I cut off the the battery cover because it's no longer needed. This is where the RGB wire is going to go through to the bottom of the base anyway. So you don't need that. So also I got out all of the solar um, panel and LED light from the other piece that's um, from the top. This is what it looks without all of the, the solar stuff in it. So it happens to be that this little uh, piece is the exact size for this um, RGB light. So you just hot glue the RGB light into the the top of it. 
and so it kind of looks like this after you glue it in <clears throat> then I flip that over and then I hot glue the, the wires to the middle of the um, to this unit and there's a reason for that it actually helps you in the assembly of the of this unit so it helps you uh, and I'll show you here how that happens so you stick this whole assembly back into the glass uh, globe first and then you bring one of the tabs up to the one edge well pulling on the wires helps you get the whole thing back up to the to the top then once you get one, one tab on one edge you use a screwdriver to get the other tab in and then it should look like this now you can see the three holes where the other simply screws into it you feed all of the wires down through the center of this assembly and then of course you've got to go back through the process of uh, lining that assembly up with those screw holes once you get one in then the others go in pretty easily and but you still have to, to to turn the metal piece around to screw it back together and then you put the other three screws in to uh, hold that metal uh, cap in place after that you put in a I put in a uh, RGB three channel controller that I also got from Holiday Core this year they are uh, selling some with the uh, Cat5 cable included, which really makes it easy to connect your devices together. Really love it. So this is the bottom of the of the unit, and all we're doing here is is putting the four wires together, the red, green, and blue, and then the power wire, which is typically black and white or yellow and white whichever it might be and of course I use um, I soldered these together and use heat shrink uh, tubing to uh, for protection and I hot glue the wires down to the bottom now, all of this could be in a box if you wanted to make it more permanent electrical box once I've got that done then I need to edit my um, controllers by giving them their first starting address and I like to use this holiday core unit that really makes it easy to change the addresses uh, you just plug it in into the RJ45 connector and as long as you have power going to the uh, controller you can change the address really easily and so as you can see here we got the RJ45 three-way jack which I've also purchased through Holiday Core it allows us to have multiple pathway lights um, connected at one time in my little demonstration I have 10 pathway lights running off the um, the 45 watt uh, transformer and here's an example how it looks They're really pretty the different colors you can get wanted to let you know I did this little demonstration with uh, Pixintel it's a Apple iPhone iPad app and you get a chance I uh, hope you can download it try it and uh, buy it for 99 cents or $1.99 if you want all of the features Appreciate you watching. If you need more help with the pathway lights, just uh, send me an email. Thank you.